Good evening. Hello, good evening. Good night. Hello, Emily, how are you? Good evening, how are you today, guys? Are you ready? Really? Okay, good. Good, excellent. Hi, Don Julio. How are you? Tatiana, Marvin, Sylvia, Marilyn, Crisia, and Emily. So, people are coming. Did you have a good day? Did you have a good day? Yes, teacher. Okay, good, Marvin. Thanks, God. Okay, remember, uh, take a good position. Sit down in a, in a, in a good position. Going around and leave a space to take notes. We're going to, as I promised, we're going to review the topics for next week. Even though we see the special parts of the topics, like it will be the past tenses of the verb to be and WH questions in the past. So that is for next week. But I will, um, I ask permission to work with you tonight in order to review, of, uh, to help you uh, working on the platform. That will be uh, the task for today. I send you some material over there uh, for you to apply. I, uh, tomorrow I will send you the answers, but uh, um, oh, Saturday morning, early in the morning, uh, for you to give you a space to work on the on the worksheet and to answer, and then you can check. So that's the the task for today. Okay, so we are a. Uh, a hey, people is 701. We are just going to wait one minute because we cannot waste that we we cannot waste too much time. So but I need I will need today's a better uh, uh, thanks God you have been participating and integrating and everything. So but tonight I will definitely need a good participation. Okay. Please. Okay. Try to participate as much as you can. Okay, we're going to start with, uh, with um, uh, so today is Thursday, uh, it's Thursday 12th. Uh, this is from the, uh, from the, this week's topic, Do You Have Fun? And uh, it's November 16th. And remember here are the needs that you need over there. Okay, we have a conversation over there. What is the conversation topic? What is the conversation topic? The conversation topic will be? Did you like it? Did you like it? Yes, that's the topic, uh, the topic, uh, the topic conversation. Did you like it? Did you like the movie? What would be the answer? Yes, I did or no, I didn't. Uh-huh. What would be the answer? Ah, okay. Uh-huh, what will be the answer? Yes, I did or no, I didn't? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. If you see a movie like uh, you enjoy it, you will say, did you like the movie? Um, did you like it? Yes, I did. If it's the if the answer is negative, what will be? No, I? No, I? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. That's right. That will be the answer. So let's listen to the conversation and the practice a conversation about vacations and see simple past yes, no questions in context. Let's see what is the conversation about it. Okay. Page 95, exercise seven, conversation. Did you like it? 
Listen and practice. So, did you go anywhere last summer, Erica? Yes, I did. My sister and I went to Arizona. We saw the Grand Canyon. Really? Did you like it? Oh, yes. We loved it. Did you go hiking? No, we didn't. Actually, we rode horses. And one day we went whitewater rafting on the Colorado River. Wow! Did you have fun? Yes, I did. But my sister didn't like the rafting very much. Page 95, Exercise 7, Conversation Did you like it? Listen and practice. So, did you go anywhere last summer, Erica? Yes, I did. My sister and I went to Arizona. We saw the Grand Canyon. Really? Did you like it? Oh, yes. We loved it. Did you go hiking? No, we didn't. Actually, we rode horses. And one day we went whitewater rafting on the Colorado River. Wow! Did you have fun? Yes, I did. But my sister didn't like the rafting very much. Uh, volunteer, what, what, what are they talking about? What are they talking about? Uh huh. What are the uh, What are Laura and Erica talking about? What by are... the last summer for Erica. Ah, okay. By the uh, by last summer vacation. Yes. Oh, and where did they go? Uh, did they go to Arizona or to? Did they go to Arizona? Um. Did they, bueno, she go to Grand Canyon in Arizona. Ah, okay. They went to the Grand Canyon in Arizona. They saw the Grand Canyon in Arizona. And what else? What did they do over there? Oh, okay. Will you try to answer, uh, fix it over there? Uh-huh. And what else? What else did they talk about it? Rose Hosers. Ah, oh, they wrote courses. Okay, they wrote courses. Okay, so they wrote courses. Uh, and what else did they did? Did they do? Uh, did Erica like it? Did Erica had fun? Yes, she did or no, she didn't. What would be the answer? Yes, yes, she did. Yes, she did. Okay, the conversation, guys, introduces yes, no questions. Okay, yes, no questions. For example, so, uh, says uh, Laura, did you go anywhere on last summer, Erica? And Erica says, and Erica says, what is she said? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Okay, yes, I did. And then, really, um, did you like it? And what does Erica, uh, Erica answer? And what does Erica answer? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And she said, Nobody's... and she said, we, we, we love it. We love it. We love, love it. it. We love, love it. it at the vacation. And then Laura asks, did, did you go hiking? And Erica says, and Erica says, No, we didn't. No, we didn't. No, we didn't. Actually, she says, we rode horses. Okay. And then the last question that Laura said, did you have fun? And Erica says, did you have fun? And Erica says. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. And then uh, she said, my sister didn't like it. The rap wasn't, but uh, okay. So the conversation introduces, que está en la última parte del documento que les mandé al inicio de la semana, 
estos ejercicios. So the conversation introduces yes, no questions and sure answers. In yes, no questions, what I do is to look uh, to confirm information. For example, we say, did you watch TV last night? Elsa, did you watch TV last night? Did you watch TV last no, night? Teacher. Ah, hello. Did you watch TV mm -hmm. last night? No, I didn't. Ah, no, you didn't. Oh. Okay, so good. So, and uh, Marvin, um, did you go to a restaurant last night? Mm, no, I didn't. Okay. Senia, um, did you have dinner last night? Did you eat, have dinner last night? No, I didn't. ¿Cómo se dice? Ya comí. Yes, I did. <laughs> yes, I did. Okay. So, what am I doing over here? Confirming information. Okay. I'm not looking for information. So, cuando, when I use yes, no questions, the answer will be yes or no. Let's see the next, uh, the next, uh, um, the next, uh, slide over there okay the next slide so on the grammar focus over there you have yes no questions okay so look at the yes no question as an answer so the learning objective is as an answer uh yes no questions let's see the ah okay you're you're helping over there thank you thank you okay Okay, so uh, it's an emergency. Ah, that's the grammar. Okay, it's not the topic. Let's listen to the grammar. Page 95, exercise eight, grammar focus. Simple past yes, no questions. Did you have a good summer? Yes, I did. I had a great summer. Did you ride a bicycle? No, I didn't. I rode a horse. Did Erica like her vacation? Yes, she did. She liked it a lot. Did Erica and her sister go to Colorado? No, they didn't. They went to Arizona. Okay, so look over there uh, where it says uh, yes, no question. Did you have a good summer? And the answer is, what is the answer? Everybody? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. And what is the rest of the information that she gave? She gave. What is the rest of the information? I? I had a, a great summer. I had a great summer. Did you uh, did you ride a bicycle? The answer is no, I didn't. No, I didn't. And then what is the explanation? The next topic. What is it? I rode a horse. I rode a horse. A horse. Uh, yeah. Did Erica ha uh, did Erica like her vacation? What is the answer? What is the answer? Yes, she did. Yeah, she did. Because we said, did Erika, uh, did Erika uh, like her vacation? Yes, she did. Okay. And uh, the rest of the information that the person gave is she? Uh -huh. Like it, it a lot. She liked her a lot. The last question, did Erika and her sister go to Colorado? No, they didn't. No, they didn't. And what is the rest of the information? They went to Arizona. They went to Arizona. You know, uh, when we use yes, no questions, and uh, you, if the answer is no, 
uh, for example, I ask, uh, I ask Catherine, Andrea, do you watch, do you watch television last night? Catherine, Andrea, do you watch television last night? No, I, I didn't. I didn't. And then, mm -hmm. Catherine, you can say the rest of the information, what you did. No, I didn't. I was studying English or, or I studied English, okay? When people, like when you give um, short answers, people uh, expect the listener, you are the speaker and the listener expect that you give more information. Uh, do you have a good summer? Yes, I did. And? There is no talking. You say, yes, I did. I have a lot of fun with my family. Um, did you ride a horse over there? No, I didn't. But we and we uh, went on a boat, okay? So we give people, the listener, expect a little bit more information in order to continue the, 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 the talking. That's why the people say, yes, I did. I have a great summer. Did you ride a horse? No, I didn't. I rode, I mean, did you ride a bicycle? No, I didn't. I rode a horse, okay? So uh, that's, that's the characteristic of yes, no question. So the listener expect that you give more information about it. Okay. And uh, I have a note over here. Yes, uh, Elsa read that one, yes, no. Yes, no, short answer, uh -huh, yes. information. Uh -huh, <clears throat> yes, no, uh, short answer. Uh, uh, yes, no questions and short answer. Sorry, I made a mistake over there. Thank you. And what, what would be the, the grammar formation? Everybody open the microphone and read. Did plus... Base form on the verb, okay? And the rest, remember that as always the rest, the, the complete information. For example, it says, um, did you watch TV last night? What will be the answer? Yes, I, I, did yes, I did. Watch. Yes, I did. Did Don Julio watch TV last night? Yes, last night. No, uh, uh -huh. yes, I, I did. I no, did. But, but I'm asking the rest of the students, did Don Julio, uh, did he watch TV last night? What would be the answer? Did he watch TV last night? Ah, yes, he did. 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 Yes, yeah, that would be the answer. Um, for example, I I saw a great movie last night after class. Let's super. Did Mr. Lopez see a good movie last a great movie last night? Did Mr. Lopez see a great movie last night? What would be the answer? Everybody yeah. open. Yes, he. Yeah, yes, yeah, he yes, he did. did. Yes, he did. Uh, I didn't read a book. Did Mr. Lopez uh, read a book last night? Did Mr. Lopez read a book last night? No, no, he, no, he, he didn't. didn't. No, he didn't. One of the characteristics of short answers is que siempre tenemos que usar un pronombre. I, you, he, she, it, we, they. Never Maria, never Miguel, never Julio and Maria. We had to use a subject pronoun, I. Yes, he did. Uh, yes, you did. No, he didn't. No, she didn't. Okay. So always a subject pronoun. Let's do, let me go back over there. Okay. You had this exercise over there. Uh, you have this exercise over there. 
I'll give you like two minutes. ¿Tienen el ejercicio en mano? Do you have the exercise in hand or el manual? This is from the manual. Yeah. Okay. Yes, teacher. Okay, so let's do number one together. And then you do number two, number three, and number four. It says, hey, did you have a good summer? And what will be the response? Yes, I. Yes, I. I. Mm. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. I. I, I, I had. had I had. I had a great song. I had a press. I just. I just. Uh, oh, uh, I just relax. Relax set. I just relax it. Really, so, uh -huh. really did you have a good summer? Yes, I did. I had a great summer. I just relaxed. Okay. So, um, let's do number two and number three. Did you go? Any words last summer? Uh huh. Did you go? Anywhere last summer? No, no, I didn't. No, I didn't. I, I stayed. I stayed her, on. Her, her but my man. friends Friend vi visited. Visited me. And, and on the weekends. weekends we. We, I, we went out a lot. We went out. On the weekends, we went out a lot. So you see, that's a yes, no questions. And uh, we are, um, we are given extra information when we, we, uh, when we answer, yes, I did, or no, I didn't. So, we give extra information. The listener expect that you give extra information in order to, in order to uh, give more, uh, continue the conversation. Ah, okay, thank you for helping. Okay, what will be number three? Did you take any class last summer? Uh, did you take any class last summer? Yes, yes. I. Everybody I open the microphone did. and talk. Did. Yes, I did. Okay, so you got ridosito, eh? Yes, I did. Mm -hmm. I took it. I took it. I took, uh -huh, I took tennis, uh, tennis lessons. lessons and I? I play. I play the tennis hey. every day, okay? Yes, so we are uh, giving, uh, remember that on the second part of the, of the statement, on the extra information, I might say it, we use the past, the verb two, simple past of the verbs. Regular and irregular. For example, the word uh, the word take is irregular, so the past tense is took. The verb play is regular, so it's ed. Uh huh. What about number four? Did you speak English last summer? Did you speak English last summer? Everybody open the microphones and talk. No, no I, didn't. I didn't. No, I didn't. Okay. But, but, 
but that I read. I read, but I read, yes. Uh, I English, read English books, books and, and watch it. And watch English it, movies. Watch it. Uh -huh. I watch English movies. So those are the yes no questions in in the um, in uh, the simple past tense. Okay. Uh, uh, two things that you have. Well, maybe uh, I say the first thing that you have to take in account that in the short answers we cannot use uh, proper nouns. We only use subject pronouns. He, she, it, I, you, we, they. Yes, I did. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. No, you didn't. Yes, he did. No, he didn't. And here, usually, we we repeat the subject pronoun from the from the question. And another characteristic is that um, in in the negative, we cannot use uh, for yes, I. <laughs> Uh, and uh, and uh, and the rest of the information we use this simple past tense of the verse, taken from the original. Any questions about this one? Any questions? Any doubt? No. 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 Okay. Uh, this is what. Uh, this is from next week, but we're. It doesn't matter, no importa que veamos algo aquí, we had to attend classes 100% on next week, from Monday to Thursday, okay? This, this part of the rest of the topic is just to help you with the uh, doing your tasks, okay? On you know where, okay? So it's where were you born? Ask me the question, where were you born, Mr. Lopez? Ask me the question. Where were you? Oh, oh, I was born in Chalatenango. Okay, I was born in Chalatenango in a very small place by the Lempa River. Okay. okay, so you see, I was born. Okay, so, uh, and this we are going to talk about it. Well, today's class is November 16, and we're going to talk over there. What do you see on the picture? What do you see on the picture? Uh, uh, beauty salon. A beauty salon, that's a beauty salon. Okay, what else? This is Chuck and this is Melissa. Okay, that's a beauty salon, uh-huh. He cut the hair, uh, woman. Ah, okay. The chalk is uh, cutting the hair to the woman. And, uh -huh. okay, that's a beauty salon. Let's listen to the conversation. Page 100, exercise two, conversation. I was born in South Korea. Listen and practice. Where were you born, Melissa? I was born in South Korea. Oh, so you weren't born in the U.S.? No, I came here in 2005. Ah, uh, there... Hmm, you were pretty young. Yeah, I was only 17. Did you go to college right away? No, my English wasn't very good, so I took English classes for two years first. Well... Your English is really good now. Thanks. Your English is pretty good, too. I hope so. I was born here. Okay, so that's uh, Chuck and Melissa talking about. Let's Page listen. 100, Exercise 2, Conversation. I was born in South Korea. Listen and practice. Where were you born, Melissa? I was born in South Korea. Oh, so you weren't born in the U.S.? No, I came here in 2005. Hmm, you were pretty young. Yeah, I was only 17. Did you go to college right away? No, 
My English wasn't very good, so I took English classes for two years first. Well, your English is really good now. Thanks. Your English is pretty good too. I hope so. I was born here. Okay. Uh, where was Melissa born? Where was Melissa born? She was born in Korea. She was born in Korea. Okay. Uh, when did she move to the United States? She moved in the 1999. In the 1999. Okay. How old was uh, was was she when she went to the United States? She was uh, seventeen. Uh huh. She was only. Only seventeen. She was only seventeen. Okay. Did she go to college right away? Did she go to college right away? Yes or no? No. No. Why? No. Why? Uh, Why? She... Because her English uh, wasn't very good. Uh, her English wasn't very good, yes. And where is uh, Chuck from? Where is Chuck from? Is he from Korea or from the United States? From the United States. The United from States. the United States. Okay, this is a practical conversation about, about, uh, about uh, personal uh, person's history. And then what is the other? C. She what? She was and were in context. She was were in context. So remember that the verb to be is said is start in the present tense, I guess, okay? But in the past tense is, uh, I was, uh, estaba, estuve, estuvieron, estuvimos, etc. So, and uh, she was in context. So let me, uh, okay. So, there you see some sentences. Some sentences. What it says, Melissa? What did Melissa says? Everybody? She was born in Korea. No, but uh, Melissa, uh -huh, between quotes, between quotes. Uh huh, between quotes. A quote is when you say what the person has said in the same form. Melissa says, I? I was born in Korea. Uh -huh, I was born in Korea. We're talking in a quote way. O sea, we're repeating what the other person has said. Uh, and the other and the other is, and Chuck says, you? Weren't born in the USA. Ah, uh, you weren't born in the USA. And then... And then uh, Chuck says. He said, you were pretty young. You were pretty young. Everybody open the microphone and talk. Uh-huh. And then Melissa says. Melissa says, I was only 17 years old. I was only 17 years. And then Melissa said again, everybody open the microphone. No importa que hablen todos, eh? That's the idea ahora, porque we, we are just, uh, uh -huh. My English was very good. Ah, my English wasn't very good. Yes. And then, and then at the end of the conversation, Chuck says, I was born here. I was born here. I was born here. 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 So we we are only paying attention right now to the uh, past tense of be was where um, in in affirmative statements and in negative statements. So so that's why Melissa says everybody. I was. I was born. In Korea. In Korea. In Korea. 
And then Chuck says, you weren't, repeat the sentences. You weren't. You weren't. From and, the and the USA. USA. And oh, then Chuck yeah. and then Chuck says, You were young. And then Melissa says, I was, I was on seventeen. And then Melissa said, My English. My English was, English was very, very good. 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 And Chuck says, and Chuck says, I was born. Was born. Was born. So that's why we are just looking the past tense of the verb to be. I was, he was, she was, it was. You were, we were, they were. Remember that you can be singular and can be plural, okay? So I will say, Elsa, you were born in El Salvador, okay? He is only one person. But I can say, Elsa, Don Julio, Carla, you were born in El Salvador. That would be plural. If I say, Elsa, you were born in El Salvador, Elsa will be say, um, yes, I was. But if I said uh, Elsa, Don Julio, Carla, Azucena, we say, were you born? Uh, were you born in El Salvador? And then they would say, yes, we were. That would be the answer. Okay, but let's see. Uh, let's see the grammar. Let me, um, in order to uh, take out the lines. Let's listen to that. Today, no breakout room because we need to finish with this one. It's a review. Next week, we'll have a lot of time to break out rooms. Okay, what is the grammar? What is the grammar? The time with past tense or, or, or be. Or be. What is the past tense? What are the past tenses of be? The past tense to be is was, was and where. And where. Was and where. Look over there. So let's listen over there. Page 101, exercise three, grammar focus. Past of be. I was born here. I wasn't born in the UK. You were pretty young. You weren't very old. She was 17. She wasn't in college. We were at the hair salon. We weren't at the cafe. They were born in Chile. They weren't born in Peru. Wasn't equals was not. Weren't equals were not. Okay, let's do let's do a repetition drill that will help you a lot, but no microphone, just from the microphone behind. But repeat, please. I will make a pause. Okay. Page one hundred one, exercise three. Ready? Ready? Okay. Yeah. Grammar focus. Past. Of B. I was born here. I was born here. Next. I wasn't born in the UK. You were pretty young. You weren't very old. Oh. Ah. She was 17. She wasn't in college. She was 17. She wasn't in college. We were at the hair salon. We weren't at the cafe.
They were born in Chile. They weren't born in Peru. Wasn't equals was not. Wasn't equals was not. Weren't equals were not. Weren't equals were not. Okay, so these are affirmative statements. So what is the subject pronoun that I use was? Everybody, open microphones. I was. I was. I was. You were. You were. was. She was. She was. We were. We were. And they were. They were. So, for example, we say uh, uh, they were at home yesterday or last night. Uh, he was at work. Okay. I was at work yesterday afternoon. Okay. And uh, I wasn't home yesterday afternoon because I was at work. Okay. Uh, my wife wasn't at home yesterday. She was at work. Okay, so that is the, and the negative will be, I wasn't, you weren't, she wasn't, weren't. and you weren't, they weren't, okay? Weren't. So, weren't. Uh, in other words, I, he, she, it, was or where? Was. 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 I, he, she, it, was. You, we, you, plural, and they, was or where? Where, where? Where, yeah, so, so I was, I wasn't. I, uh, you, you were, you weren't. So that would have said that, that will be the negative and the affirmative. So uh, the correct way of using this one. So we say wasn't, was not, weren't, wasn't, weren't. Okay, so and then it says important. What is the note? A statement. Information. A statement information. What is the statement information? I. I, he, she, it, plus, plus, plus the rest. Plus the rest. And what is the example sentence over there? I was talking about I, me. I was born in Chalatenango in 19. 19. Um, uh, 90. 95. 95. Five. 1995. Yeah, it's not true. I was born before. But anyway, okay, uh, you, what it says? You, she, they, uh -oh. there is a mistake. Sorry. It will be you, it will be, it will be you, we, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah not she. Um, man, that will be. Okay. So um, now it looks like you. Uh huh. What is it? You, we, they. Plus. Plus work. Plus the rest. Plus the rest. Example. They were at home last night. They were at home last night. Ellos estaban. Yo nací. Okay, so those are the uh, statements with yes, no questions. And um, in your material over there, it says follow, uh, write four sentences about each person. Uh, what each person Okay, more examples over there. For example, in affirmative and a positive way, what I would say? I was. 
Read the sentences. It was cool. I was cold. Yes. You. You were, you were tired. tired. You were tired. He. Cansado. He yeah. was in the garden. He was in the garden. Uh -huh. He. He was, he was late. late. He was late. It was. It was raining. It was raining. It, it was raining. We. We were on holiday. On a holiday. Remember holidays, Mother's Day, Father's Day, Independence Day, uh, Independence Day, uh, what else? And some others, okay? Um, and they, they were hungry. hungry. They were hungry. Negative, uh, negative short. I wasn't sleeping. I wasn't sleeping. I wasn't sleeping. And uh, you, you were in the bus. He, he wasn't in the bus. He wasn't in the He was, it means he was handsome. He was, it was, it was hot. hot. And then, and the last one. They, 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 were, were, they, were, they, they were in tired. So they were not tired. Uh, that's that's the thing over there. So and yes, now those are uh, those are the topics over there. For example, let me show it. Um, let, let me see if I can. Um, uh, I had a file. Okay. Uh, this is the file that I sent you with the exercises, okay? So this is the, uh, we were, I put the grammar over there, then the explanation that here, uh, that here, uh, there was a mistake because it was not she, it was we. And then you have, for example, this is Bruce Lee, okay? And, and it says, write four sentences about each person. That is the indication over there. For example, information that we have, it says Bruce Lee, an actor. 19, he was born in 1940 and he died in 1973. Uh, he was born in the United States. He was a movie Easter, uh, a movie star, like it says in the beginning. He was in the movie Easter of the Dragon in 1973. He was in the movie Over the Gate. So we have some information about, and we say, what, what do we say? Sentence number one. What is the yeah. sentence? Bruce Lee was an actor. Bruce Lee was an actor. Sentence number two. He was born in Mexico. Uh -huh. He was, he was uh -huh. a uh, sentence number three. He was? He movie Enter the Dragon in 1973. Uh -huh. And final information. He died in 1973. 73. And then you have Robert, uh, Robert uh, Clement, and then Maria Curry, and then Andrew Halpert. So you have to write, it's, it's similar to this one over there, in order to practice. Then this is the topic that we're going, yes, yeah, this is the topic that we're going to know now. And you have over there the spaces where you can write. Okay, so by you, let's do the let's do this one first. Uh, how many uh, nine? And we have thirteen minutes. Okay, so yes, no questions over there. Ah, uh, no, sorry. I and let me just. So in yes no questions over there, for example, I said, were you born in the in the US? And the answer is, the affirmative answer is 
Yes, I was. Yes, I was. Were you born in the U.S.? Negative? No, I wasn't. Uh, was your brother born in 1984? Uh, uh, Affirmative? Yes, he, he was. Yes, he was. Uh, was your brother born in 1984? No, he, no, wasn't. he wasn't. No, he wasn't. Were your parents born in Icon? Icon? Yes, they were. Yes, they were. Were. were your parents born in Icon? No, no they, they were. Aha. Uh -huh. And then it says we were going to oh, over there. Uh, where were you born? No, that's another topic. I made a mistake over there. Okay, because we we're just looking at uh, important. We're just looking at yes, no questions right now, not WH questions. Uh huh. Important. We? We use yes, no to confirm information. Uh huh. Look at information. Okay. okay. Uh, la, la, so we use yes, no questions to, como en las, uh, did you go? Did you like it? Do you? Uh, take lessons so we yes uh, yes no questions to confirm uh, information so the answer will be yes or no so let's do uh, we have some an exercise over there because we don't have time let's do it together you college last year Chuck was or where it says, complete the conversation with was, wasn't, where, or where it. Was. Aha, uh -huh, but the subject pronoun is you. Was. No, the subject pronoun is, look. Where. Ah. Huh? Where. Ah. Uh, where so the 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 answer is were you in college last uh, year Chuck and Chuck says yes I was or no I wasn't no I was no I wasn't I graduated uh, from I college wasn't. no no I wasn't I graduated from college two year you have a uh, similar exercises over there and you wash it okay. Please do not work a platform before you do the exercises. I strongly advise you that one. And then Nancy, so, so where you last year? Was or where? Was. Where? Where. where. It was where. Thank you. Where. Don't worry if you made a mistake. It's, it's participation is good. And then you say, I in French. I was. I was. I was. I was. But digan toda la oración. I was in French. Oh, you in Paris. Oh, where do you uh -huh. where in Paris? Were you in Paris? Yes. No. I, no, I. No, I, I wasn't. No, I wasn't. I didn't. I wasn't. I in. I wasn't. I was, I was in a, in Nice. I, I creo que se equivocaron. I have a job there. And what? What? What was the job? What was the job? What was the job? And he said, I. A front desk agent in a hotel. I was a front desk I was a front agent at a hotel. So the exercises that says the respuesta aquí is similar to this one. Okay, you're practicing yes, no questions. Uh, I think we're on the time. We're doing good. Okay. Here, we, again, we have uh, some people at uh, hair salon and Melissa and Chuck or whatever, so, and they are cutting the hair. Let's listen. And what is the topic conversation? What is the topic conversation? I grew up in Texas. I grew up in, I grew up in Texas. Let's see. Page 102, exercise five, conversation. I grew up in Texas. Listen and practice. 
So, Chuck, where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. Were you born there? Yeah, I was born in Dallas. And when did you come to Los Angeles? In 2000. How old were you then? I was 18. I went to college here. Oh, what was your major? Drama. I was an actor for five years after college. Really? Why did you become a hairstylist? Because I needed the money, and I love it. So, what do you think? Well, uh... Okay, one more time. Page 102, Exercise 5, Conversation. I grew up in Texas. Listen and practice. So, Chuck, where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. Were you born there? Yeah, I was born in Dallas. And when did you come to Los Angeles? In 2000. How old were you then? I was 18. I went to college here. Oh, what was your major? Drama. I was an actor for five years after college. Really? Why did you become a hairstylist? Because I needed the money, and I love it. So, what do you think? Well, uh... Ah, uh, she didn't like it. Okay, the conversation introduces WH question words. WH questions. For example, what is the question? Where did, you grow, where did you grow up? Okay. And look at the answer. It says, I grew up in Texas. So it's not yes, no. Okay. And what is the other question? When? When did when you come to Angeles? And what is, the, what is the answer? In? In 2000. In 2000. What is the question? Oh, you then. And I was, it says what? What is the question? What was your major? Okay, what was your major? What's the question? Why? Why did you Oh, because I needed the money. You see, here the answers are not yes, no. Here, I'm not confirming information. I'm looking for information. So let's see the grammar over there. There's no time, about five Page minutes. Page 103, exercise six, grammar focus. WH questions with did, was, and were. Where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. What did your father do there? He worked in a bank. When did you come to Los Angeles? I came to Los Angeles in 2000. Why did you become a hairstylist? Because I needed the money. Where were you born? I was born in Dallas. When were you born? I was born in 1982. How old were you in 2000? I was 18. What was your major in college? Drama. I was an actor for five years. Okay, there is no time. You see, no es una respuesta de yes or no. It, it is in complete sentences starting with a subject. Ah, you, he, she, it. Uh, I grew up in Texas. Uh, he worked at the bank. I came to Los Angeles and etc. So the WH questions with says a WH word when and so there's no time guys unfortunately, but you have all this information in your material, okay? So for example, WH, when did you come to Los Angeles? What was your favorite subject in school? Okay, and very important, we use WH questions to look for information. But uh, at the end, you can watch the TV. 
For example, you had the WH words. How old? What about uh, how old? Ask for? As about people age. Uh huh. And how? As about process. Process on manner. Uh -huh. Why? As about reason. As about reason. Uh, oh, oh, sorry, lo repetí. When? As As about time. Time. Where? As, As about, about place. Places. Place. Who? As, As about people. As about people. And then you have these exercises over there. You had to put it over there. How was your first day at school? And it says, you could answer. It was very nice. My classmates were were very friendly. Uh, you was teacher who favored it. What would be the question? Who was your Who was teacher? your favorite teacher? Uh-huh. And the answer it can be? My favorite teacher was Mr. Carlos Guevara. Oh, I remember always Don Carlos Guevara. Uh, favorite was your cha what class? What was your class what? favorite? What was your favorite? Favorite class. English. Class. <laughs> yeah, I put it English. <laughs> it was English. The teacher was very good. <laughs> it was English. Yes, yeah. <laughs> so, yes it was me. So uh, these are the these are the the hemos cubierto what you are going to work on it. I hope that is it help you. Please uh, trabaje en la worksheet. Okay. Uh, let me uh, uh, take the attendance. Eh, Abel Herminio. Present, Mister. Ana Gabriela Alvarenga. Present. Claudia Elizabeth Aguirre. Elsa Cecilia Carranza. Present. Emily de Los Ángeles Villatoro. Present. Glenda Elizabeth Antillón. Jacqueline Lorena Campos. Present teacher. Present teacher. Ok, Julio Antonio Orantes. Present teacher. Karen Vanessa Aguilar Romero. Carla Susena Ángel López. Present. Catherine Andrea Sánchez Díaz. Present teacher. Grisia Elizabeth Portillo Chávez. Present. Luis Edenilson Díaz Valle. Present. Marilyn Ruby Mulato Gaitán. Present. Marvin Rudy Mulato. Present. Minor Alexander Arevalo Avelar. Avelar Avelar. Present teacher. Miriam Janet Lobo Segovia. Present. Uh, Nubia Beatriz Rivas. Present teacher. Robert Adalberto García. Present. Silvia Andrea Córdoba Sarabia. Present. Tatiana Michelle Pineda. Present. Enseña Esmeralda Chávez Lozano. Present teacher. Okay, guys, have a great time. Have a good luck in your um, good luck in your and uh, your work and your task. Please work, and I'll see you on Monday. Uh, have a good one. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. Take care.